<laughs> What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Subside, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build that thing over there. But before we have a look into building that, this new bamboo texture is absolutely insane. I think it's going to be really good for like early game building. We're all pretty cool. We've got the new hanging signs too, which make good decoration if you know how to use them. I don't. I've got random letters on mine. But the camels though, the camels are actually quite sick. And one thing I have noticed about these camels is they're loud um, and they can't walk up one block. So, and backwards is very slow. But they will not walk up one block. They won't run up one block. And if you jump, they just about jump one block high. But well, the perks of it is that two people can ride it at once and the mobs can't attack you whilst you're sat up on top. I want to test this new jump feature they got. I want to see if I can clear this. But I'm going to go from the other side because it'll give me a bit of a height advantage to see if we can actually clear the gap. Right, I've got to run up and you can see that corner. You can just about see it there. I'm going to sprint and see if we can clear this. Let's have a look. Jump. Oh, quite easily actually. That's got a hell of a jump on it. So back to why you clicked on the video, I'm going to show you how to build, like you saw in the video of the Minecraft live teaser, the chisel bookshelf opening secret doorway thing. I'm working on the title. So as you can see here, we got a couple of normal bookcases mixed in with some of the new chiseled bookshelves. So if I take a book out of here, you can see I got some enchanted books, some sharpness too. Nice. Put that back. Um, but you don't have to just put enchanted books in here. You can actually have just normal books. So for this to work, you don't need enchanting books, which uh, I didn't know, which is actually quite handy. But as you can see, if I take one, two, three, four books out of this, it's going to open up a secret doorway for me. We're going to come down. Oh, look at all the riches. But obviously, this doesn't have to be for your room of treasures. This could be a secret doorway to your base or whatever you need. To reset it, just put the books back in and that'll close it up behind you. Then. So to build this, all we're going to need is... As many chiseled bookshelves and standard bookshelves as you want to decorate with, but you need at least one chiseled bookshelf for it to work. And to make a chiseled bookshelf, if I can find it, I think I need to be in creative. Oh, survival, two seconds. There we go, we're in survival now. So to create a chiseled bookshelf, all you need is, I think I've already typed it in, six planks and three bamboo slabs. So it doesn't take much. You don't need any redstone for it to work. Well, you do need redstone for it to work, but you don't need any redstone to actually build the thing, which is pretty cool. And what you need is, like I say, as many of them as you want. Uh, one redstone comparator, uh, about a handful of redstone, only about six redstone you need. Some building blocks to build around it if you want. Two sticky pistons and at least six books. Of course, if you want to fill up all your shelves, you're going to need more than six books, but six books just to make the one you want to use work. Okay, so this is nice and simple. So to build this, all you're going to need to do is place your chiseled bookshelves now when you're placing on top of these you're going to need to crouch to place them because otherwise you're going to end up just taking books out if there are books in there or you're just going to end up relentlessly clicking for no reason so crouch and place same as on top crouch and place i'm just doing six so you've got a nice sort of like view of what's going on but these can be chiseled bookshelves or standard bookshelves it's up to you i'm gonna fill up just the middle one so we can see the demonstration Come around the back, and it's the middle one I'm going to use, but whatever one you want to use, you're going to place a block behind it with a redstone comparator. Point at the back. Now, if you've got books in there, that's going to give off a redstone signal. So now you've got something that looks like this. So you've got your bookshelves up. You've got your redstone repeater lit up. Uh, redstone comparator, sorry, lit up behind. Grab some building blocks. You're going to place these around. Again, like you see there, if you click on top of these, nothing's going to happen. So you have to actually either click the block next to it or crouch and click on them. So you've got this nice sort of border. I've done two borders, so it's got an extra layer around it so I could hide the doorway. So now you want to place down your sticky pistons. You want to place these at least one block away from this. So either here or here. So I'm going to place mine here. So just put your back to where you want your door. One block away and then place two sticky pistons like that. So now you've got your pistons there, just place another building block in front of your comparator. Another one behind your pistons. And then we're going to make a train of redstone dust going there. Coming through the back twice. And we're going to go one more across. And then into the back of your pistons. If you've done that right, they should extend forward. Now we're coming around this side. And then all you need to do is start taking out books. So for this one, it only took two books to actually open it. And then you can make a secret tunnel underneath. So what that means is the shorter your redstone line is, 
the mm. more books you need to take out. So, for example, this is six. So, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So, if you wanted to, you could place it like this. That's six. So then you only need to take out two bucks. One, two. Fill them back in. But if I wanted to get rid of this. Place a block there. Redstone there. I would only need to take out. Oh, actually I would need to take out four. So one, two, three, and four. And that's it. Nice quick little tutorial for you today. If you did enjoy, consider subscribing. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.